Hey, Tammy Molinelli from North Jersey Partners here to talk about jobs of the future and how we can prepare our students for these great jobs. So we know that 54% of the jobs in demand are jobs that only need specialty training for that occupation. So four-year college degrees don't always guarantee a path to the middle class like they used to. We just simply know that we need to create different learning opportunities and career paths, maybe to college, but maybe in other areas. So it's time to talk about different types of career pathing so that students and their parents can make really good educated decisions about jobs for the future for their kids. So let's talk about apprenticeships. What a great opportunity for a young person to actually work in conjunction with taking formalized education, education that today includes college credits. It might be a great idea for college students to get into internships and to really explore experiential learning in their high school years so that by the time they get to be juniors and seniors, they've got a great idea of what they'd love to do. It's important to also do really good research and collect data on these well-paying jobs so that you're educated and you know what jobs are in your own backyard. Jobs that have great median income like jobs in information technology, in healthcare, in manufacturing, and in the utilities. Medical sonographers average $75,000 a year. Dental hygienists, $88,000 a year. Managers of distribution centers and transportation centers are making a six-figure income. Jobs in law enforcement, jobs in the trades are just a few examples of the great jobs that are available that you might not have thought about that you can start right out of high school. You can have many of these jobs with just short-term specialty types of education. So recently, North Jersey Partners held a summit sponsored by some great partners, PSE&G, Suez, Verizon, Rapid Pump and Meter Service Company, and Bergen Community College. All of these companies brought their top leaders together from private and public sectors to really talk to educators and parents and students about amazing jobs in these high demand occupations that can be obtained right out of high school. They shared their stories on how they gained great experience in larger and medium sized companies and how they leveraged their company's tuition reimbursement to pay for their higher level degrees. They talked about the importance of internship and experiential learning so that students can really benefit from career exploration by actually doing. They discussed the importance of interpersonal skills on the job, things like problem solving and critical thinking, as well as how to uh, develop grit and perseverance and patience. They painted a compelling story about how and why kids need to choose career paths around the things that kids are good at and things that they really love. They promoted lifelong learning because there's no age limit as to when you can get your bachelor's degree or even your PhD. There's no magic uh, button that says at 18, you need to go directly into a four-year experience. For some kids, it's the perfect choice, but for others, different career exploration is important. They talked about the importance of um, experiential learning in K through 12. So the juniors and seniors in high school don't have to magically pick which college or what career they wanna jump into. These folks really have a call to action. For educators, what they're saying is, as leaders in the business community, they encourage career exploration again at a very young age and to be able to infuse classroom learning with experiential learning. They want educators to know that creating experiential learning opportunities with your students in every single class is a challenge that they should take on. They encourage curriculum developers to talk to the business community to make sure the curriculum that's being taught in the classroom matches and mimics what young people will have to experience in the world of business. And to give guidance counselors the tools to share with students alternate career paths, not just that a four-year degree might be a good choice, but also there are a tremendous amount of mid-skill jobs existing in our community that might be right for them. And so what's a mid-skill job? There are these great occupations that exist within our community. As I mentioned before, 54% of the jobs are mid-skill jobs that simply require specialty training or an associate's degree. We need to teach and model employability skills as well, not only in the school district, 
but the leaders are saying that a lot of these skills can be taught and mentored at home. So make sure that your kids know about problem solving, that they're developing grit, and that they're using their creativity in a lot of different ways. Their future employers will thank you. Allow your children to explore different careers and support their career passions. These leaders within the community also had a call to action for students. Spend time identifying the things that you do really well. Pay attention to those things and really pay attention to the things that you have passion for. Build your careers around that. So in summary, college can be a great investment for some kids, but not for all. It's important to consider whether an apprenticeship might be right for you. There are many programs and certificate programs that focus on these middle skill jobs that allow for long-term sustainability so that you can jump into these jobs, you can create your career path, and you can grow within them. These are great jobs for people to live in New Jersey, to work in New Jersey, and raise their families. So please see the link at the end of this video for more information on the jobs in demand and the pathways that you can use to be able to get there. Or simply reach out for your local workforce development board director. Our goal here is to change the way that we think about career path planning and what career success looks like. So we hope that you will join us in celebrating the skills and talents of the future workforce and support strategies to help our students plan their careers around their talents, interests, and their passions. Tammy Molinelli here with North Jersey Partners to talk a little bit about the jobs of the future and how we can prepare students for these great jobs. So 54% of the jobs in demand are jobs that will only need specialty type of training in that occupation. So four-year college degrees don't guarantee a path to the middle class like they used to. A lot of these mid-skill jobs can offer robust long-term careers. So while a college degree may be good for some, again, not for everyone. So it's time to talk about the different types of career paths that parents, students need to know about to make really good decisions when it comes to designing their careers. The importance of being able to gain access to information about the jobs of the future. So what does that look like? Take apprenticeships. What a great opportunity for young people to be able to work full time and to be able to get formalized education that focuses on that occupation. Many of the apprenticeships today include college credits. We would encourage a possible career path for students to simply go into the workplace to be able to gain really important information about different careers, uh, to do experiential learning and figure out what they might like to do for a long-term career. And then what's really important to remember when you're exploring career paths is that data really matters and that there are a lot of great careers out there that pay really great wages that simply just need specialty certificates, credentials, or possibly an associate's degree. We know the median average wage for many jobs in information, healthcare, manufacturing, and the utilities pay almost up to a six-figure income. Did you know that a dental hygienist, the average salary is $88,000? That computer network support specialists average $76,000 a year? And that managers within a transportation storage distribution center are making six-figure incomes? Careers in law enforcement, jobs in the trades are just a few of the great jobs available right in your own backyard. The, many of these jobs simply need a high school degree with an associate's degree or short-term training focused on these occupations. So recently, North Jersey Partners held a summit sponsored by great business partners like psc and Suez, Verizon, Rapid Pump, and Meter Service Company, along with Bergen Community College. The summit was held in the Lyndhurst campus of Bergen Community College. There were leaders from the private and public sectors, really talking to educators and parents and students about these remarkable jobs available, jobs that are considered mid-skill jobs. So what's a mid-skill job? It's simply a job or an occupation that requires specialty training, but not necessarily a four-year degree. So these business leaders share their stories about how they gained experiences in large and medium-sized companies and how they leverage their company's tuition reimbursement to further and support their higher degrees. 
uh, they talked very uh, poignantly about the importance of internships and experiential learning to give students the benefit of career exploration by doing, not simply just by reading. These business leaders at the summit talked about the importance of interpersonal skills um, on the job training, things that they need to solve problems and to think critically, um, as well as the importance of perseverance and patience. These business leaders painted a very, very compelling story about how and why kids need to choose career paths around the things that they're good at and career paths around the things that they love. These leaders really talked about the importance of lifelong learning, that there's no age limit as to when you can get your bachelor's or your PhD. So when kids feel pressure to be able to get their bachelor's degree at 18, we may want to reconsider that message for some kids. These business leaders talked about career exploration needing to happen early in a child's K through 12 experience because a junior and senior in high school shouldn't be asked at the last minute to pick a college or to pick a career. So basically what these business leaders are saying is that we need a call to action. They encourage educators to be able to make sure that career exploration is in classroom learning. Uh, they encourage educators to make sure that experiential learning opportunities for students like internships and experienceships are happening within the student's curriculum. Have your curriculum developers talk to businesses so that the curriculum mimics the real world of work. And give your guidance counselors the tools to share with your students and their parents all the careers that are available and all the paths to be able to get to these great in-demand jobs. The call to action for parents is teach and model employability skills with your kids in your home. Things like problem solving and responsibility, grit and creativity. Their future employers will thank you. Allow your children to explore their career choices. Help them identify the things that they do well and support their career passions. Experience is the way that they learn what's going to be right for them. And then finally, the call to action for students. Spend your time identifying the things that you do well. Know your skill sets, your skills, your abilities, and your talents. Make sure that you are focusing on those when you're looking to create a career that you love. So in summary, college can be great for a lot of students, but not perfect for all. So explore apprenticeship opportunities, identify certificate and credential programs that match some of the high demand jobs in our own backyard. Please see the links at the end of this video for more information on jobs that are in demand so that you can do research for yourself. There's pathways and a lot of information that can help you and your child develop really great occupations. You can also reach out for your local workforce development board director for more information. So our goal is to change the way we think about career path planning and what careers really look like, what career success looks like. So we hope you'll join us in celebrating the skills and talents of our future workforce and support strategies to help our students plan their careers around their talents, their interests, and their passions.